All right, this video is going to be for the Windows users out there. We're going to show you how you can install a font and then utilize it within Cricut Design Space. So a lot of times you'll, you'll go out there on a website, you'll find a font that you like, you'll want to download it. And what's great about that is Design Space allows you to use true type fonts. And this website right here is called defont.com, and this is one of the popular ones. Uh, they do have uh, where you can download for free, and you can download and pay for them as well. But uh, as you can see here, you do have several options available to you. Uh, what I'm going to do right now is I'm just going to go ahead and click comic because uh, that's the category that I'm looking for, and I'm really looking for some comic style type of fonts. So within defont.com, uh, you know, if you like this font, say for example this one right here, bada boom, I can go ahead and click this. And what's great about default anyway is you can type some text here and you'll be able to see it in a preview to see if it's the exact type of font that you would like. Well, in my case, I do want to utilize it. And in order to download this, there's a little gray download button for this and it's right here. Now, please do not get confused by any advertisements that you see right here. It says start download. That is not the button that you want. Uh, this button right here is what you want. So you're going to go ahead and click the download button and it's going to go ahead and download it. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and view my download folder. And what we're going to see here, and I'm going to go ahead and click open folder. Now you may have to navigate to the folder that you uh, currently use, but for me, it went to my download folder. And as you can see, I've already downloaded this several times. So I'm just going to utilize this one right here. And in Windows, in order to unzip a file and utilize what's inside of it, I always recommend you right click it. And then you'll have an option that, right here that says Extract All. And this will say, all right, this is where the download's going to be. It's going to put it in a folder. Or you can click Browse and you can navigate to a folder where you wish. So I'm going to go ahead and click Extract. And because I've already done this, uh, I'm going to go ahead and replace the files in the destination. And this window will appear right here. So if we take a look at this file right here, the, the name is... Uh, bada boom and it has like a little underscore but what we want to install anyway if you see this right here type okay true type font that's that's what we need so in order to install on windows all we have to do is double click and this window will appear now all we have to do is click the install button Okay, so now it's installing. Now let's go back to Cricut Design Space and see if we can utilize it, okay? So I'm going back into Cricut Design Space. I already have the text on my, on my uh, virtual canvas here. And under the Edit menu, we do have All Fonts. And what I always recommend, because we know we're using a system font, I'm just going to go ahead and choose System Font so it sort of filters. Uh, the selection here and then in here I'm going to go ahead and type in uh, bada boom and as you can see nothing's showing up okay and this is sort of a trick because we do need to exit out of uh, Cricut Design Space. And when I say exit I just mean close it you see this little X up here we're going to go ahead and close out of it and then we're just going to go ahead and relaunch it so how, how do we do that well, uh, you can click the X up here. Uh, if you do have a project that you're working on that you're pretty much really deep into, go ahead and save the project. Okay, you can save the project up here, and then we'll come back to it once we open it up. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, exit out of here because I really don't have a design on this screen. And it's going to ask me, do I, am I sure? Yes, I want to leave this page. So now I'm totally exited out of Cricut Design Space. Let's go ahead and reopen it. Now you can either go down here in your taskbar, you see the little Cricut bug right here. You can open it via the Cricut Bridge. Uh, or you can go ahead and if, if you do have your desktop, you know, little icon saved, you can go ahead and double click that. Either way will bring up the Cricut Design Space. So I'm going to go ahead and launch it from the taskbar and I'm going to go ahead and click Launch Design Space. So now when we create a new project, or we can go back to our saved project if you did save it, and we can go ahead and add the text. So I'm going to go ahead and add the text here. Bada boom. 
And now when I click on this and I go to edit, I'm going to go back to system fonts, just like I said I would before. And now with the search filter, I'm going to type in bada boom. And as you can see, it popped right up and there's our text. So that's how you can install font onto your computer, utilize it with Cricut Design Space, and you'll be set to go. All right.